It's an honor to be felicitated in front of uh, Padma Shri Vijay Bhatkarji. I extend my special thanks to MIT management who have invited all of us and have felicitated us. I secured All India Rank 3 and uh, my first choice is Indian Police Service. The first question and the puzzle which was raised was why IPS in place of IAS? A chief guest is not here today, but I learned that Anna Azareji had aspired to join the uniform services and he, he had served the country early in his life in the uniform services, so that itself is a pride for me. <laughs> when I entered this hall, they gave me this tricolor. I was very proud to put it on my shoulder. Now how proud I would feel to hold the national emblem on my shoulder. <laughs> that is the sole reason behind choosing IPS. Today, the 30th of July, is a day to be remembered. Let us go more than 150 years behind. July 30th, 1857, first war of independence. A group of men, Indian sepoys, attacked the Redan battery at Lucknow and conquered Lucknow. Now today, we are in the same position for a mutiny, not for a violent mutiny, but for a non-violent mutiny Mutiny to make ourselves free from nepotism, corruption, cynicism, and all the ills that holds our country. I would like to make a promise to the elders present here that we youngsters will take up this promise and will take up this non-violent mutiny and take our country in a positive growth. Few weeks, <laughs> few weeks back, uh, someone asked me, what is that one ability which a person should possess to become one of the best civil servants in the country. That was a deep question to my heart. I examined what could be the true answer from my innermost conscience. I would say a good memory, a good memory. The reason being, every one of them present here, something triggered in their life to take up civil services. And when they took up the preliminary examination, we learned to make non-controversial decisions. When we took up mains examination, we learned to be we learned what is neutrality, and when we went for the UPSC interview, we learned to empathize with the citizenry. Now, during this process, the corporate sector was pulling all of us. The money was pulling all of us. The earning was pulling all of us. But amidst all this, the temptations were stopped, and we were focused on a job. Now, this good memory, and the memory of this great man there, so definitely it should guide us through the process for the next 30 years. So good memory is what we all need. This place is a proud place. Gopal Krishna Gokhale, the son of Pune Soil, once remarked, we are launching the Servants of India Society because the Indian civil services has failed to achieve its goals. Today, Anna Azareji, if he was there, he would say the same thing. The Indian civil service has failed to achieve its goal. So it's time for us youngsters to take up the job. Leave alone all the cynicism. It is time for us to take up the new job and bring about the change. I, as an IPS officer, will, to the best of my abilities, bring great respect to one day. We all know Independence Day. We all know Republic Day. But we do not know one day. October 21st, Police Commemoration Day. Before I retire from service, I'll ensure that there is respect from the bottom of the heart from Indian citizens towards this police service. And I will work towards that. <laughs> that was one question in my UPSC interview. The Indian police is failing on one side. Miss, uh, Mrs. Rajani Rajdan, Madam, asked me the question. On one side, the Indian police is failing. Terrorism, left-wing extremism. On the other side, there is this uh, police constable and police sub-inspector who suppresses the Indian citizenry, the poor. Now, how do you balance? On one side, it is more powerful. On the other side, it's so weak. How do you balance it? I gave an answer, but I was not satisfied. I'm going to search for an answer for the next 30, 40 years in my service. To balance the more powerful police and the repressive police. So I'm going to bridge both and I will work towards ensuring that the police works for proper satisfactory service delivery. I am inspired by Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple company, who told that there are certain dots in life. For example, Anna Azare was, Anna Azare Ji was serving in the Indian Army and all the people traveling in the truck with him died and there was a bullet above his head so he escaped narrowly. That was one dot in his life. Now, later on, he met with an accident. I mean, he witnessed an accident, and that accident made him focus on Jan Seva. 
So these are two dots. And when we connect all the dots at the end of life, we find a beautiful rangoli called Anazare. Now today, it's a dot in our lives. Now it is for us youngsters to connect the dots and make a rangoli or to make a bad picture. Now I assure the elders here that we youngsters will make a beautiful rangoli out of our life. My, my heartfelt thanks for the management for this golden opportunity and my hearty congratulations to the friends who have selected along with me in this service. So I'm proud about the fact that this institution has felicitated us. Jai Hind.